Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'm going to be talking about some TCG news that released er earlier this week about Pokemon. Um, I'm actually going to be releasing two videos, so stay tuned for the next video, but today, uh, in the first video I'm going to be talking about a Charizard Ultimate Premium Collection box that was revealed late, uh, earlier, like a few days ago. And also I'm going to be showing you some incandescent Arcana uh, reveals that uh, also came out actually quite some new uh, quite some good cards but let's talk about the Charizard box first shall we so like you can see here it will be a white box with um, a yellow border and a little bit of red you'll see it later on with a beautiful Charizard on the box it will be about 120 uh, US dollars uh, it will be releasing October 28th do keep in mind that you should not pay more and by more I mean there are people already s trying to sell you um, these products for over 200 euros or dollars whatever um, do not buy that why because Pokemon actually does something that is called soft releases so actually what they do is they release the Pokemon pro, uh, products in three waves. So the first wave uh, is going to be the late in October into the beginning of November, then it will have a second wave right in November and then a third wave in December. Why do they do that? To try and prevent those uh, people from buying it all and uh, you know trying to make a lot of money. It's actually to protect us, uh, said shortly. So, what does the box contain? Um, it will contain three uh, promo foil cards uh, of Charizard, of course. So, the first Charizard will be a normal V, then you will have a V Max card and a V Star card. I'll talk a little bit later uh, about what those cards will be precisely. But you will also get a Gigantamax Charizard uh, playmat. You will get uh, some uh, sleeves as well of a Gigantamax uh, Charizard. Then a metal coin, six damage counters, two metal coin uh, condition markers, I mean. One acrylic V-Star marker. Then you will also get 16 Pokemon booster packs of the latest, well not the latest, of the uh, Sword and Shield series. Um, I do think, it's not revealed which booster packs it's going to be, but I do think, uh, and logically speaking, it will be uh, tending to go more towards the booster, the booster sets that, uh, Pokemon, the Pokemon sets I mean, uh, it will be tending to go more to the Pokemon sets who actually feature Charizard, because it's a Charizard based uh, premium collection box, of course. You will also get a promo card, like with every product, and um, a player guide to the Sword and Shield series. Now, about those Charizard cards, if you go reading uh, a little bit, a little bit more, you can also get uh, to the side, pause the video, and go to go to the side if you want. Um, but there is actually speculation about whether or not we already saw those Charizard cards. It is rumored that it's not going to be Charizard cards that we actually already had. It's rumored that it's going to be uh, Charizard cards that are going to be released in the final uh, Japanese Sword and Shield series uh, class. So um, that's something to look out for. And again, do not buy them above 200 euros, please. Anyway, then some more incandescent arcana news. Um, we got some reveals about a Ho-Oh, uh, superior cards, uh, even a character rare card and uh, stuff like that. So let's take a look. So here you have the superior uh, V, then the V-Star, then the Ho-Oh, which is really nice. If you go take a better look you can actually see 
uh, the effects that he did on the fetter, uh, on the fettering. So it, the card actually looks really insanely good. Um, to me, I think it's going to be one of the chase cards. There's no doubt in my mind that this is probably one of the chase cards that people will want to buy. Uh, with the shadowing, the lighting, uh, the fire behind him, lighting on top of the back, like I said, the details on the feather and the claws. It's just an insanely beautiful card. Then you also have a beautiful uh, superior card, which features Mount Fuji in the back, uh, a character rare. Character super rare, excuse me. Um, so that's also obviously going to be one of the chase cards, the Alternate Artwork of Acer Perrier. Um, then an Altaria character rare. Then the Mewtwo with the attack that we saw in the movies. Then Zamazenta and Zashin. And another Altaria normal card. There's actually also a leak uh, that was released today, I think, uh, here about a new Radiant card that will also be featured inside the Incandescent Arcana. Yeah. So this is a card, a beautiful uh, Radiant card, uh, if you ask me. One of, mm, one of the cards that we probably did not expect to be a Radiant, uh, to have a Radiant version, so it's Arena, uh, Radiant card. It's a pretty nice card. Uh, not gonna lie, and of course, if you uh, want to go look a little deeper downstairs, not downstairs, uh, down in the website, you can actually also see other cards that were already re revealed. So uh, the Del Fox and Brazen uh, Evolution line. Actually, this card, this card is pretty cool to me. Like, the way she is standing, it's like she's going on a witch hunt, uh, while actually being a witch herself, in my opinion. <laughs> she kind of looks like a witch, and she is the one making a witch, a witch hunt. It's kind of kind of cool. Then of course the uh, character rare of, uh, again, with a gift from her trainer, which actually is a pretty cool gift because it's the same hat uh, that she is giving to her brazen uh, but with the holes in her head. Um, a beautiful card and quite original, quite originally found if you ask me. And Nico, my cat is uh, looking again. Um, then of course Delphox which also looks pretty cool. And the Guard of War, actually this one I did not see yet, but looks pretty uh, normal. We already saw all these, so nothing too special about those uh, cards anymore. There is going to be a um, Reverse Hollow card of her as well, with the Pokemon uh, pattern, Pokeball pattern, better said. Uh, yeah, that was about it for the first video of today. Uh, the second video is going to, do, to be dropping uh, a little bit later. It's something that European people will actually want to know. Um, it's very important for European people. American people, it's... Well, you can actually uh, just follow what products are going to be releasing, but the European people are going to be wanting to stick with the video, the next one, I mean because there is some uh, important news that you should know. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys later.